Hello and welcome back to Sustainable Teacher. If it is your first time here, my name is Leticia and I'm glad to meet you. And, in, and if you've been here before, I'm happy to see you again. In today's video, we keep going with the interaction function, talking about the nervous system, which is one of the main uh, central units of the interaction function because the nervous system will receive and coordinate all the answers of the uh, sense organs okay the, usually about the external perception so the unit of the nervous system is the neuron which is a cell it's a specialized cells in and the, the specialization is to transmit electrical impulses what does mean it means that the ions outside and inside the membrane of the neurons will change from outside to the inside and from the inside to the outside and the result is a change in the voltage of the membrane okay and this change of voltage will be transmitted that is that is the the electrical impulse okay and in the nervous system apart from neurons we have another type of cells which are the glial cells which are cells of support which type of support support for the neurons of course because they are the important ones in here and they will feed them clean them uh feed them clean them and protect them okay and i want we won't talk more about the glial cells we will talk of course more about the neurons so as every cell the neurons has a, a the neuron have a nucle neurons have a nucleus okay but the shape of the cells is not round anymore uh, they have a very specialized shape so there is a um, kind of head called uh, soma which is the body and the nucleus and all the um, most part of the cytoplasm and organelles are there and from that head, from that soma, we have like a long tail called the axon, okay? It's a long ramification, big thick long ramification. And from the soma and from the end of the axon, there are smaller ramifications, smaller branches called dendrites. So always the, in, the electric impulse, the, the information in, in in these electric input impulses will be transferred from the dendrites in the soma all around through the axon to the dendrites in the axon we will see this in a few slides okay and depending on the position in the uh, in the conduction of the information of the neurons we have three type of neurons okay sensory neurons which are the next uh, we are, which are next to the receptors we have intermediate neurons usually those neurons in between other neurons for transmitting the information and finally the neuron connected to the muscle to perform the answer is the motor function neuron let's see now deeper how the electric impulse work so the thing is I already explained to you that we have a changing change of voltage between the outside and the inside of the neuron. Usually it's due to sodium and potassium ions, okay? And once one uh, part of the membrane is polarized or depolarized, the depolarization is gonna be transmitted mm, through all the membrane, okay? Um, how the cells, the neurons receive the instruction to start depolarizing. It happens when two dendrites from the previous neuron and the next neuron um, con contact with each other. But it's not a physical contact. In the middle, there is always a gap, okay, called synapse. And in this synapse, uh, it happens a process called synapsis. And what happens is, as a consequence of the depolarization of the previous membrane of the previous neuron, the neuron 
in the end, in the dendrites in the end of the axon, will release a neuro neurotransmitter. Okay, this neurotransmitter is a chemical substance that will produce the same effect in the next neuron. So in this space, in this synapse, um, the, the neurotransmitter will be released and will be received by the next neuron, in, in this case the dendrites in the body, in the soma of the next neuron. Once they receive the, the neurotransmitter after the synapsis, so they don't touch, it's just like a mes uh, message with throughout using the, the um, neurotransmitters, they will start depolarizing the new neuron from the soma to the end of the axon. Once again, when they get to the end of the, the depolarization reaches the end of the axon, mm, new neurotransmitter will be released to the next neuron and so on this way. This is always the, the way. This is for the cell, for the unit of the nervous system, but of course the nervous system is a system, so it's made of organs and tissues, so there are more things than neurons in here. Let's see a little bit about the rest. So, uh, we have the central nervous system, which is what we commonly call the brain, and the uh, peripheral nervous system, which is all the nerve, the spinal cord, everything all around the body, okay? But they all have a function in the interaction function. Let's see, okay? So for the central system, nervous system, which is what we call the brain, the, the brain will coordinate all the functions except for one little thing that we will see in a few slides, okay? But we don't call this the brain. The brain is the common name. What we usually call the brain, which is all which is inside our head, is called the encephalon. And the encephalon is divided into three parts, okay? The cerebrum, okay? The cerebellum, which is in, in our neck. The cerebrum will coordinate all the main intellectual functions, all the, almost all the all sense organs also. In the cerebellum is more focused on the balance, okay, on this type of movement and etc. And finally, the brain stem that will connect the, the encephalon with the spinal cord, right? So even the spinal cord up to the spinal cord, all is in the central nervous system, okay? So encephalon. Uh, cere cerebellum, brainstem, and spinal cord, okay? And from the spinal cord we will have all the peripheral nerves, okay? From the, from the brain, from the head, we have, we have 12 pairs, so in, to in total 24 peripheral nerves. From this, the spinal cord we will have even more, but I don't, it's not necessary for you to learn the number or anything, okay? So those uh, cranial nerves, which is the name, because they start on the head, we will have, of course, sensory and motor neurons, nerves, okay? Because when we talk about the, the nervous system, we, we never talk about neurons, we talk about nerves. What is a nerve? It's just a lot of neurons together, a lot of actions of those neurons together, this is a nerve. In, the, in our peripheral ner nervous system, we will have voluntary conscious actions and involuntary and, of course, unconscious actions. The voluntary conscious actions are performed by the somatic nervous system, okay? And the involuntary will be uh, performed by the autonomous nervous system. Among the, uh, the autonomous, we have two subsystems, which is the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. The sympathetic usually will um, perform uh, involuntary actions that requires excitement or act activation, okay? And the parasympathetic will be related with all the relaxation actions, okay? Let's see how the nervous system works. Not in the sense of the synapses, we have already explained this talking about the neurons, but for how the information is, is transmitted from 
the receptor to the brain and from the brain to the locomotory system to perform the answer. So let's see it. For the voluntary acts and the involuntary acts is different. What is a voluntary act? Something that you do because you want. So if I want to move my hand, I will. If I don't want to, usually I won't. But have you ever seen this uh, when when they um, uh, push you or hit you in the in the knee? There is a specific point in which you will have an involuntary act called reflex act. And your your um, when when they hit your knee, your knee moves alone, right? And we don't control it as much as the voluntary movements, okay? So, the voluntary acts uh, are coordinated by the ne central nervous system, okay? So we have the receptor, then uh, we have a sensory neuron, a sensory nerve, actually, because yeah, it's not just one, it's a lot of them. So the sensory nerve, they will reach the central nervous system in which we will coordinate the answer and through a motor nerve they will reach the muscle to move it so the locomotory system what, hap uh, what happens when it's not uh, voluntary which is involuntary or reflex um, when it's a reflex act like I, I touch something is really hard and I will re uh, quit, remove my hand quickly because I don't want to get burned um this to to make this faster even faster because this is just milliseconds okay to make it even faster we skip one step which is the central nervous system like the the brain okay uh the encephalon and it will be the the spinal cord which is still central nervous system but the the distance is shorter the one that will get the answer so in the case of if i touch something my thermoreceptors receive something that is uh, the information of something is really hard you should remove your hand the, there will be the sensory um, your nerve, nerve the sensory nerve they will reach the spinal cord and the spinal cord will just give the answer to the motor nerve and to the muscle to just in a matter of less than one second to remove your hand so this is the difference between the voluntary acts and the involuntary acts so all the acts will go to the encephalon except for those involuntary but even though they will reach the central system but not the brain the spinal cord okay and finally a little bit about health and we are done um, we can have some alteration in our nervous system for um, natural reasons right uh, if we break, for instance, uh, our back in an accident, we can be uh, paraplegic or tetraplegic depending on the point. Para if it just affects our legs and if it is over the shoulders and it affects all the body, arms and legs, it is called tetraplegic, right? Um, we can have some, sometimes due to um, impact, uh, some hemorrhagias and this is really important really severe because our head our brain needs to be always really well irrigated to work so if we have a lack of irrigation we can have uh, irreversible problems okay and of course some degenerative uh, neurodegenerative illnesses like Alzheimer like Parkinson and if we don't have a healthy lifestyle and we consume drugs, drugs can um, alter the perception of those neurotransmitters. They work as neurotransmitters and they can mimic and fake those neurotransmitters in our neurons. And those, this is very dangerous. Um, so if we eat uh, or we take a drug which is, uh, that will excite us, we will be excited and if we take a drug that relaxes us so the, the, the result is that we are going to be relaxed and finally for um, mental illnesses not caused by natural uh, reasons we have for instance schizophrenia when we don't have a real perception of reality we have eating disorders like anorexia when we don't want to eat or bulimia that we eat but then we uh, vomit because in both cases we want to be 
uh, thin, but we are already thin and we don't see it because we have transformed the perception of our body. Anxiety, biggest problem of our society nowadays, one of the biggest, okay? And depression also. And just to finish about the drugs, uh, I already told you the effects, but there is something really interesting is that our brain is really depending. So if we take drugs, the next time to get the same effect, maybe not the next time, but after a few uh, intakes, we will um, need more quantity to have the same effect. So this is the tolerance. Every time we take it, we make our brain more tolerant. So we need to take a bigger quantity to have the same result. And this is so dangerous because um, in the end, uh, we can have a overdose. So this is the end of the video. I hope it was interesting to you. To me, the nervous system is uh, amazing. Um, how the brain works and I, still we don't know a lot about the brain if you have any doubts or any comment leave it in the comments and of course see you soon